do you think? Do you think I can drive on the street with my pro brackets? On today's episode, we changed some tyres. So we're going to head up to Kenda on Thursday afternoon for Friday's practice. Before we go, a couple more things we've got to get done on the Mazda. Change the tyres over, going to run some pro bracket radials and uh, fix up the wastegate. Stay tuned. Tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Racing. I like it. Wastegate plumbing. Oh yeah. Are we are we being that out here or? I was gonna say, are we being full backyard and literally doing it in the backyard? Let's be backyard mechanics. Okay. Because I hate my job. Alright, what are we doing and why, Mr. Tuna? We need to plumb into the top of the gate as well. Because? Because I need too much duty cycle to keep the gate closed. Why don't I just put the dump pipe straight out the guard? Less back pressure. You can just cut it off and take the inner guard out and just turn the dump pipe. Okay. There's Bob for the top of the wave gate. A little longer than a few minutes later. Did you get cutters? No, I asked you specifically what else do we need and you said it's all in my hands. Freaking hard to fly like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. Hopefully it was one eighth. I don't think it is one eighth. It's bigger than one eighth. It's three sixteenth. I don't know why I had one eighth in my head. It's at five sixteenth. So we should still be able to get up to our 12, 13, 14 pound. 30 pound. I have always wanted to try metal mending uh, heads onto a car and seeing how much boost pressure you could put into it. How much boost do you think we can put into the Mazda without bending a rod this weekend? Remembering that I need to have it available for road trip. I would say the amount of boost at which it bends a rod minus one. Ooh, I like that. 20 in, pound. Infinity pound. 21 pound, because <laughs> I want to put 20 pound in it. So okay. 21 pound. 21. Okay. 21 is where it's going to oh, go first. Well, let's put, let's put 20 in it, and hopefully it holds the track. 20.5. Done. <laughs> I'm very cranky. How's your coffee? The coffee is good, but Michael peeled the stupid sticker off my cup, and now it's all sticky, because he can't peel things. And it's ruined your day. It's ruined my day, Michael. <laughs> One eternity later. We made it. Good day, Cancer. Are we here for a day of drag racing? I think we are. So we've turned up to Mackay, driven, you know, 11 hours, and all of the non tech cars are being scrutineered. And Michael's Hilux doesn't have a park neutral safety switch. Also, I didn't bring any wiring tools whatsoever at all because I asked them, what tools do I need to bring? And they said, nothing. Here we are. Yeah, just start a relay in the fuse box up here. Oh, <laughs> this Proof. way. Um, really? They don't need the heater. Yeah, yeah. Like, just, yeah, start off. Go on. No relay. Oops. Well, that's interesting. So there well, will be a relay somewhere. We yeah, just heater. have to you find don't need it. the heater. Yeah, yeah, but no, no. The, the problem isn't we need a relay. The problem is we need to find the starter no, relay. Starts. Yeah, I don't want. I can't run the full voltage through the ECU. <laughs> no, I would prefer we didn't. Yeah. Yeah, it must be in that, that. Get your fingers. Yeah, put your fingers on them and I'll crank yeah, it. Yeah, Tell yeah. me which one clicks. I'm not feeling any of these click. Why don't you unplug the starter motor? That's very difficult to get to. That's not, that's right. This is literally the only thing you're trying to do Hang is disable the starter motor. the only car that is really easy to get to the starter motor. What about if we push it to the start and tell them that it's, that's how it works? And then it's a bump start car. It doesn't have a starter motor. No, because that won't work because then that means we're only starting gear. <laughs> <laughs> It'll right. only give us the opposite of what we want. We're halfway there, fellas. We're halfway there. <laughs> yep. Okay, start versus connected. Okay, cool. Let's see if you can hear a click. There's no click. I'm not hearing a click at all. No click or any clack. They, do they have them in this? Yeah, but so, okay, yeah, so hold on. If only we knew uh, the person that wired this car. I didn't wire this bit. <laughs> <laughs> not my belt. 
Can you get a really? We'll make it. Give it a start, really. Maybe that's more work. Why is everyone's gazebo so low? I keep smacking my head on them. Why are you so tall? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help that. Have you tried shortening your legs? <laughs> His blood sugar this... level's a bit out of whack right now. <laughs> you know what make this way easier to work yeah. on? More if we just approaches. removed all the HVAC box and just made this thing a race car, Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> just take everything out. Either make it more race watch, car or stop racing it. You, you watch, he's just gonna he's gonna leave for a couple of hours, he's gonna come back and we're gonna go, your car passed tech, mate. He's gonna go for the first round, it's gonna go five nine. <laughs> what the hell happened there? We're gonna, we dropped three hundred yeah, pounds. We took out all of it. the interior out. I reckon we should let Ozzy let us make this thing really fast. It's booked in for a roll cage. That's what I mean. So what's gonna happen is this is what always happens with me, right? The problem is he's gonna have a roll cage and they're gonna say you're tech to eight oh. And that means you should run eight O's. So you're gonna make run, make it run eight days. Let's have this conversation when he gets here. No, because he'll speak <laughs> sense. Because they're using his wallet. He'll use. You're like, no, 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 no. My budget won't allow for it. Which is the smart way of doing yeah, things. Yeah. That's but not we're how not we about. Do it. We're not about that. No, 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 no. Race above your means and make it work. <laughs> Hit that switch. Turn it back into a kill switch. Is that switch on the other side? Is that not nitrous arm? And then just try that and see what happens when you turn it on and off. Uh, also, that's a nitrous request too, so it might still turn the nitrous on. Right. It's, either, it's gonna stop with it's gonna stop with gonna start with the <laughs> start with bang. <laughs> okay, so that's stopped. So if that's on, it should be stopped. Is the nitrous so, gonna be on? There? I'm just gonna check that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna check and see what, what As you're doing that, I'm hearing like a <laughs> and the outside like Wait, wait, the bottle's off. Yeah, but that doesn't mean the solenoid's gonna be Yeah, it'll be it'll be empty for a long time. But I don't hold pressure very long. It'll just start a little bit quicker. So, that, you're saying cool. that if we... Off should be start. No, this should... On should be on, kill. Yeah. So, yeah, that shouldn't start now. Yeah. Now, now, hang on, before we start bragging. <laughs> yeah, no, no, now, now go. <laughs> All we've done is give it a... It's just made it start in a different fashion. That's all we've done. <laughs> yeah, not really. Still gonna have to slyly roll it's it. What in I mean. so, hey, has it got a brake switch input? Well, I said that. I said, no, it it's not wired in. Oh, yeah. I was like, look at wire. Or the um, uh, trans brake button. They put your hand on the shifter. Put it in park with your hand on the shifter, and it'll start. No, it won't start. Put it into first with your hand on the shifter, and then crank it, and it won't start. And then you let go of it, push it into neutral, and hit the key, and it'll start. <laughs> Slide of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hide in plain sight. I, I feel like that is way too many instructions for Aussie to follow. What's going on, my, um, Aussie? Yeah, Aussie? My name's Aussie. Aussie, this is my Hilux, my 3LZ Hilux. Um, well, you see, I don't have a uh, park neutral switch, so when I go for my tech inspection, um, I'm gonna fail. So I've got my mate Tuna to wire in a kill switch. So Ooh. I'm gonna slightly bump the kill switch when I roll on in, and then the car won't start. <laughs> My you're car's not meant to start. I'm pretty sure you went the wrong way with the switch. It was intentional. get back I think I shifted just a touch early but uh, we went 672 good start tire hooked everyone else has been blowing tires off all the uh, practice runs in front of us so that's really good for us so run one left on 3900 rpm and 6.8 pound of boost you didn't even think about spinning by the look of it second at 65 pretty early uh, but you did make 14.6 pound of boost at the top of first. Uh, 14.8 at the top of second. So that's about where we were running it when it was doing the six fours. Yep. So you just got to get that 60 foot down. It's yep. all in that 60. We chucked a GoPro behind the diff. We'll throw the footage in now. happy with uh, how that rear suspension is working and yeah. separating. Real good. We'll 
put the GoPro in front of the dip so we can see what that pinning angle's doing now. Yep. So the plan for this next run, I think we're just going to leave everything as as it was. We want to try and back to back that run. Maybe have a look at see what the pinion angle is doing, because this thing has always left first run off the trailer at any any event has always gone down sweet, and then we've never been able to back to back it. So we're just going to leave the tune alone, not touch anything. Tire pressure's the same, and uh, we're going to go out and see if we can go back to back. Left or right, didn't spin the tyres, but it was two tenths slower, so we'll have to have a look at the log. Maybe I let off the button a bit early. We'll, uh, we'll get back there and have a look, but still went down, didn't spin the tyres, so uh, it's pretty much the first time this car's ever gone back to back off the trailer, or back to back at any stage without blowing the tyres off, so we'll go back and we'll have a look at it. So your second run, you went 690 something. Something. A bit slower. Uh, same 60. Yep, same 60, same boost on the brake. Shifted uh, 500 RPM later and we went two tenths slower. So we are going to bring that back and shift at about 6,500. Yep, so changes for the next one? Uh, we'll give it a bit more RPM on the lever, I think. Seems to be leaving all right, so we'll try and get the 60 down. Sweet. Stop, 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 stop. He bumped in. Definitely. Oh, you bumped in. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pass me some brake cleaner? Yeah. How much did you break me? Thank you. Give me good pants. Give me going out pants, bro. Let <laughs> me catch the courtesy bus to the pub pants. In what right oh, mind would any person stay on the two step for 10 seconds? I'm pretty sure in the video you'll hear me say, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Smells bad. Probably it. someone who's a little bit faster than loose, maybe. Did you bring O-rings? Yes, in I, my O-ring bucket. I, I got it. I got a couple of frangers. <laughs> cut the top off. I got O-rings, but you told me not to bring anything. Boy, well, don't you yeah. use that excuse anymore, eh? Your head tuner, lead mechanic, head of videography, superintendent of dinner. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh. So. Don't say you don't have any job for me. I didn't say you your job's to look after us. Oh, yeah, I got a great idea. We'll take the O-ring off the other one. Put on this one. <laughs> I got a great idea. We'll just loop the hoses together. Who do we have for this? Jake. Yeah. Give that shit one, we'll give it back to Jake. Say, ah, oh, we didn't use it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Jake and friends. Coming back at you. That's the O-ring. Oh, it's up to you. I mean, the O-ring will do its job, but... Well, it's done it for that long. Yeah. It, it would have yeah. continued to do it if it wasn't 140 degrees. But I did go out of my way to get Fred's in it, so you could do me the favour of using uh, you want me to try and die again? Yeah. This one here is the problem. This one here is no problem anymore. No, 
that doesn't smell bad. <laughs> What's the verdict, Doctor? It looks like I... My head hurts. Send it. Send it. harder. I think we hit a safety though. So uh, I lost everything at about five grand, 5,500, something like that. We'll get the tuner to check the log on that one. So we sent it out with a much uh, more aggressive boost ramp, but someone forgot to put fuel in it. So we have no idea how successful that would have been. It was definitely better in the 60, but I think there's still a lot more that can be had. So we're going to turn it up harder and put some fuel in it and send it again. So we went 657, didn't see the uh, trap speed, but it pulled a lot harder. I shifted a little bit early, but I don't think that made much difference. But it's holding the tire, which is perfect. Mission accomplished so far for uh, today. So I reckon that might be our last one and uh, we'll line up fresh again tomorrow. I'm trying to work out how to go slow, Michael. Yep. I can find my flow chain, I've got plenty of them. Yeah. Concentrate. I have a funny feeling we're going to rip the tyre off here on the first qualifier. Ah, the two step check in the pits sounded a little bit rowdy, but we'll see. That and the fact that it's 470 degrees. <laughs> UV index at 97. Yep. Well, no pressure. No pressure. I hurt my finger from bashing the steering wheel so hard. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was real excited. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Had, I wish we had time slips so I could see if I treat you. Or not. You, gonna, you, didn't treat me, slow, you didn't treat me, mate. You didn't treat me, mate. Come on, mate. <laughs> I had to look in my rear vision mirror to see you. That's fine. Like instantly. <laughs> Too much nitrous. Take the nitrous out. Chief, what happened? It's fine. I told you it was going to spill. It is. It's a driver. Yep. Alright, I'll leave it three quarters off the next time. You let the button off too hard. Oh, softer. Yeah. So what do you want to do with your car? Beat him. Yeah, right. <laughs> so your rear end doesn't work. Do you want to send it with those shock adjustments or do you want to try and pull some out of the leaf? Pull some RPM out of the leaf and we made the shock adjustments. Let's just get it to go down. That should make all the adjustments. That's generally the best way to do things with drag racing. That's yeah. usually how we do That's it. That's how we roll the tuner racing, baby. All the changes all one All of them. I'm going to have no idea what did what. Yeah.
Number one qualifier. Why did you roll straight into double weld? I don't know. Didn't, didn't, it was the gloves. It must be. At least I didn't have to bump. Yeah, I had enough time. <laughs> the brake for a little bit too long so I had to get off it they ended up dropping the light for me so uh, nothing useful out of that run but we get a win Spot on so blue on Commodore. Blue Commodore. Blue. Blue. And you lost. Yeah, well, he double bowled me. So? He double bowled me, and then I was just like, you I was expecting. Panic. You well, panic and you just get in there. I was, expecting, <laughs> I was ex actually expecting him to hold me out because yeah, he's supercharged. Yeah. But he just went straight in two stages, and I was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, you didn't get I'm always yeah, so I'm scared of that as a turbo I, car. It's like, I am not willing to blow a transmission to win this. Like, get. If you want to be a dick, just take the win. Yeah. I'll, I'll fight you. <laughs> but I just. Right. <laughs> I'll team bang you at the end of the circuit. Oh, I got that, you did. <laughs> so I just sort of like rolled into the first stage where I went too deep. And then I just yeah, sort I've... of half bumped half through and then, and then apparently I was fun. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> lift and I'd take the win without breaking out just to see if I can get some extra points. It went really nicely, it went uh, 650 I think, we'll check that at the end but that's pretty good, pretty happy with that. Um, I reckon I probably would have broken out if I stayed in it so that's good. Uh, that's Kenda for Mackay done and dusted. Uh, Mazda went alright, got two wins from three top and qualified. 
Top qualified. Top qualified. Yep. And uh, we only broke tr traction twice in the whole weekend, which was a plus. So the works we did before we came up here worked perfectly. Hilux did Hilux things. It was terrible in qualifying. One, three from three with a buy in the second, but still not fast enough to make the final. Um, had a little run in with the IHRA. Apparently they didn't like me running nitrous without fire suit. So I had to borrow Jake from Jake and Friends jacket and gloves, Maddie's fire pants, uh, just so I could keep running. I and Andy's non fireproof shoes that kind of look fireproof. Um, and yeah, obviously went three from three, but 680 in the final, in the last, wasn't fast enough. So you won three rounds boxing with the IHRA, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's pretty old too. But he, yeah, he had a, I reckon he'd have you. He had a right jab. I man. reckon he'd have you. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for Kendall Mackay. If you want to see more drag racing content from us, uh, like and subscribe and leave some comments. Let us know what you want to see more of and what you enjoyed. And even if you want to see Matty's boobs, he's keen to get them out. <laughs>